Hello trainers, welcome to another episode of Pokemon Go Battle. So today we have a brand new, new team. Um, it was inspired from Scrublord Dustin. Saw him uh, using it on Twitch um, to get to Expert. And this team is utilized for a Remix Cup. So we have the good old uh, Rose Raid as the lead with Leaf Storm as the new move. A very, very strong move. An Overheat Clone on top of having Sableye and then having Registeel in the back. So without a doubt, I want to jump into these battles and I want to um, just talk about um, how this team really works because when I saw Dustin actually use it, I think it was like really, really cool how um, strong Rose Raid is in the actual meta with um, the Remix Cup. So jumping into these battles now, this was um, streamed yesterday myself. I'm so close to 2700. Um, this team has helped me climb to probably about 250 points, if not a little bit more. I was kind of tanking a little bit um, just prior to Remix Cup and uh, just wanted to see like what would be a cool team to play around with. So again, thank you Dustin for showing this team on Twitch. I don't think he's um, shared this team just yet. So if he does, um, without a doubt, give him the props to it. But jumping into these battles, you can see we had him a champ lead there and then we switch into um, a wiggly tough from the trainer. So we just jumped right into our Reggie Steel just to knock it out. So the whole idea is to undercharge if we need to and then completely farm down so we have something to throw at this Machamp. So this Machamp comes in. We were expecting that they're going to shield here. If I recall, they don't, which is very surprising. And it's only because they have a fairy in the back. So it was a double fairy team. And just to start off with the video, this is uh, a team that we can easily beat without a doubt. Um, I don't think there's really a Pokemon in the lead that's going to really counter us. Um, but as long as we have Ready Steel alive, we can do really, really well. So I was just trying to get to the return there just to chip away with damage. But Rose Ray comes in, Leaf Storm comes off, and boom, knocks it out. And that's a GG with that match. So um, I'm going to go through three sets here. This was a 4-3-4. Um, it's really, really good. Uh, like I said with this team, how Rose Raid is in the lead. Um, we see a lot of steel types in the lead. We see, um, let's see, a lot of different fighters and sometimes charmers. And Rose Raid can answer those pretty, pretty well. Even once in a while, we'll see the, the Jellicent leads as well too, which we can kind of bait out and uh, win that match if they don't shield properly. Um, but I learned my lesson here going to a Reggie Steel matchup that... Uh, when they throw a, f a flash cannon and you don't shield, you're in the red and it just really makes things a lot worse in the end game when it comes to trying to um, use Roserade um, towards towards the end here. So we were trying to get an extra shield here and I guess I'm just um, trying to be a little greedy and go for double Leaf Storm. And I think in this point we double shield here and then I throw another Leaf Storm and let's see if they actually let this go. Let's see, in this case, they double shield and then we jump into our Reggie Steel. So in this case here, nothing's going to really knock us out. They're going to chip away probably almost three Weather Balls at this point because they have a lot of energy. I'm just trying to be sure that I have uh, a lot of energy stored up to the max as much as possible. So we are okay with our um, opponent's Reggie Steel. I'm not too sure if we uh, make it there. We'll just see in a couple seconds. But they... Uh, actually bring in their Mew which is very very interesting so um, the solid Dowie we can win this match it's not going to be an issue whatsoever so Mew comes in um, they're just shielding up and we jump into Sableye here we could definitely take on a wild charge if it's um, the typical surf wild charge and there you go and then we're able to farm down which is perfect for us and then I think they can seal the match if I'm not mistaken at this point maybe maybe Registeel comes in nope alright so we're going to go for it I'm going to go off with uh, one foul play here. I think almost two foul plays is enough to knock out a Reggie Steel, so it's not too bad. And they try to do a swap, and we just continue tapping, and then we just let go of this foul play. And we were pretty much in the game here. We we won this. So they can throw a Flash Cannon here. They can't go to two Flash Cannons, so we can go with Rose Raid and um, farm down. Or, uh, yeah, I think we just farm down here. Yep, and there we go. GG's for that match. So... Let me see if I can speed this up just a little bit more. So, 
Yeah, so one thing, I, we may see it in this um, couple sets, who knows, but the team that usually, or at least the Pokemon is the lead that's really, really hard for this team is um, Alteria as the lead, because whenever we switch, they usually have a counter to that, and it just makes it that much harder for um, our team to really catch up, especially with the Registeel, if we even switch that into an Alteria, it makes it really worse, um, and the fact that Alteria can still win the two shield advantage, especially having extra energy at that point, because we did the switch. Um, and then sometimes Charmer can be a little bit of an issue depending on how uh, the team comp is. I'm not sure we also see in this match, but we'll see uh, when, the, when the game goes here. So um, as you can see, they switch into a Hypno. Um, we just go for a foul play and knock it out. We try to get a little bit extra energy, so we're just ahead of the match um, with this Registeel. And we're able to throw two of these foul plays, which is really great. They'll eventually have to shield if they really want to keep this Reggie. And then we jump into ours just to catch the foul play. So we already knocked out Hypno. And I really wanted to see what's in the back just so we can kind of figure out which Pokemon we can align it with just to see what would work. So we're definitely going to shield here with the Focus Blast. I still want to maintain health a little bit. And I'm undercharging here so I can try to get um, extra lock on energy. And here we go. We have the Altera in the back. So. Really, the condition that will help me win is probably Sableye, if I'm not mistaken. Um, just sticking around here, it's going to help me um, try to get some shields out of Altaria. And I just have to be extra caref careful as far as not having it um, farm too much. So I just sack the Rose Raid here because <sighs> leaf, leaf, turn, uh, leaf Storm is a little hard to use. It's uh, not effective and chipping away with... Uh, what's it called? Weather ball is just not really efficient here. Two shields are down and I'm just hoping that I can get to the return and we just lost it there. It was super, super close. I think we could have won it. Um, I don't know, like that dragon breath at the very end was like so chunky with that, with that last hit there, but eh, we were close. I think the return would have knocked it out. If not, it was a close match either way. Um, but oh, this match, here we go. This is spice. It's shadow grottle and then we have a wish cache so i actually stay in here um i know because registeel is a want to see this wish cache and um rose ray can you know definitely apply pressure we can survive a uh, mud bomb which we did here and then i switch into sableye just so um, they can dump their energy so they're at fresh zero and at this point we can shield once and i think i would love oh i don't even shield there so we uh farm down to almost two foul plays i know that we can probably sneak one with grottle here nope we don't we just missed it and then i think we're gonna go back with roserade at this point um and see what they'll do with their last shield so they'll actually not let it go and this point i'm gonna let go another weather ball and i have at this point I have a feeling that they're gonna have something that's weak fire in the back and it is a escavalier so don't this we almost lost this match because they have acid spray which is a very cheeky move that they uh used for this team and it makes a lot of sense now the way that they were playing this out so we doubled up on the flash cannons there and then we uh go with the focus blast here this barely knocks it just barely knocks it out and then we have one shield left they're gonna acid spray here we're gonna shield and we're gonna see if we survive a counter and we um do so that was very very close of a match i'm very glad we had both our shields there towards the very end was not not expecting that team whatsoever so moving on to the next match we have uh, a victory bell so pretty much we know we have a bastion in the back our um Yep, there, there he is, right there. So we switch right into a Reggie. So now we know that um, we have the Bastion on lined up with our Reggie. Uh, we, we're looking pretty good here. Uh, let's see, Reggie Steel is going to be also good with Victory Bell, and then our Rose Raid is going to be pretty good. So as long as we can get Sableye lined up um, just fine, depending on what they have in the back, we'll be pretty, pretty good. So they have, um, I think it was a Deoxys, was it? Yep, a De Deoxys. So we're we're perfect here as far as our alignment goes. We can just keep letting go of these flash cannons. We don't want to switch because we want to keep our alignment just right. And uh, just at the very end there, I did do the switch just so I can try to snipe a little bit with uh, their damage. And then they go with the Leaf Blade. We just let go our Sableye. And then we bring in our Roserade here. And we'll just Weather Ball here. And then we'll just have our shields left over for our Deoxys. So... They're pretty um, 
close to two moves here. They go with a Thunderbolt, probably not to debuff themselves. And at this point here, we just go with two Weather Balls and we can win this match fairly easily. But just to be safe, we would just let go of this Leaf Storm. So we're like really, really safe. So fun fact with, with Leaf Storm, um, in my experience with Deoxys, it almost knocks it out like 90%. Like you have a little bit of health, bar health left. If I'm not mistaken, I think like maybe three Shadow Claws from Sableye would knock it out. Typically in the beginning, when I first started this team back on Monday, I would, uh, what's it called? Uh, go with Leaf Blade, Leaf Storm first. I keep saying Blade. Leaf Storm first with a Deoxys lead. They don't typically shield. And then I go immediately into the Sableye. And sometimes I would knock it out. Sometimes they would just have enough energy or HP to switch into like a, wig a Wiggly Tough. So, oh, this is, oh boy, here we go. This match here, disgusting. Um, just didn't play it out very well. But then again, a Mau Wow lead for this team is not good whatsoever. So they snuck in that fire spent or yeah, what is it? Fire Fang um, at the very end. I couldn't get off double of my, uh, what's it called? Uh, weather Ball. And then I just didn't shield the Sableye and they had play rough. So we just, that was just a terrible thing. We just top left and just moved on to the next match. But here we go. Medicham. Um, this one can also be a tricky lead as well too. I typically go with the Leaf Storm first, depending on um, how, when, if they throw the move or not. If they don't throw the move first, I usually go with Leaf Storm. If they uh, go with the move first, depending if they went up to Power Punch or Ice Punch, I would um, shield and then I would switch afterwards. So here they switch into their Bastiodon. Uh, here with our Sableye, with our uh, stats, it's slightly XL. We can manage to knock it out with having just, uh, I think it was just one shield used. I think it takes about three foul plays to knock it out, if I'm not mistaken, if they don't shield, which they don't here. So uh, going back into the Medi, I'm just going to let go of this Sableye. We do know it's an Ice Punch, so we're going to go into our Reggie Steel. If it was a power up punch, we would go into a Roserade, and then we just uh, didn't let go of that move, and then we go right into our Roserade because of the Jellicent. It's not a good matchup for Reggie Steel, especially if it's Bubble uh, and Bubble Beam and Shadow Ball as its movesets. So I think we have a little bit of play in the two shield with Reggie and the Jellicent if it has Hex and Shadow Ball, but uh, it's not something I wanted to really risk. So here I am going with the Flash Cannon and uh, thank God we didn't let it go the first time around. So we had enough energy to go back to back almost with our Flash Cannons and we would win this match, GG's. So. Once you find out what movesets Medicham has, you can um, definitely play out the match and see how it can, you, you can win in that um, situation. So, all right, not so bad, not so bad. We're almost 50% uh, done with our video. I wanted to go a little bit longer because it's been a while since I've done a video and no one doesn't really showcased uh, Rose Ray lead with Leaf Storm. So um, yeah, I'm just having a lot of fun with this team. I'm st it's still rather new for me to play around with. I, you know, I played three games or three days so far with this team. And with Remix Cup, it's been really, really um, spicy. It's been mixing up a little bit with the team comps. So there's just a lot of stuff that's really, really new um, in terms of its matchups. I don't know if it's in this set or the next set where we'll see how um, I could have won a possible um match with a uh, mistake that i've done so here we go with a hunter lead i immediately switch into sableye to fish out the charmer so then i can go in with a reggie steel so we can align this just well there's not going to be much uh nine tails can do in this case uh besides just uh you know keep on shipping away with weather ball and also uh charm so one of the things i'm trying to remember to do in this lineup in this matchup here is to not fully charge up the flash cannon and to actually undercharge so I have energy to face off with whatever they have next. Um, it can really turn the matchup really, really easily if you um, make that nice little uh, adjustment there. Sometimes I forget, but I need to keep reminding myself there. So here we go. They um, We swapped back and forth there. We keep spamming away with the weather balls because this is going to knock out Hunter. And then they have a Vigoroth here. And we just simply shield. And I believe this almost knocks it out with Leaf Storm. So here we go. Leaf Storm. How much damage does it do to Vigoroth? It knocks it out, actually, and we win that match. So, as you know, 
Leaf Storm knocks out, um, I believe, Sableye, I believe, uh, Vigoroth, uh, Clefable, uh, almost a defense form, Deoxys. So it's just very, very crazy um, how that lines up. So here we go, going into the next match, Superior Lead. So we need to figure out what movesets that they have. So they went with a Leaf Tornado for um, here. So now we know it has Frenzy Plant and um, Leaf Tornado, so we don't have to shield afterwards. So what I do here is I bait first with the man team because this could be a little bit of a headache in the back. And we do know that this is, uh, I think, a wholesome team, if I'm not mistaken, having... Mantine and um, Jellicent in the back, both with bubble beams. So I'm not too worried. That's why I was trying to bait out the one shield and then bring in Reggie. And what I wanted to do is try to farm up extra, but I didn't want to be double um, debuffed coming into this Jellicent. But they're going to probably do it again here. And of course, we had double bubble beams. And then we are just letting go this um, flash cannon just to chip away with damage. So this is um, a very tricky match. I really, really, really want to switch out, but I do want to make sure that Roserade is lined up with Superior, and then we can kind of have some play with Sableye. So I don't want to have Superior gain any energy extra from, uh, what is it called? So it's Sableye here. So uh, we had this alignment that we now want, and there's no moves here that's going to knock us out. So Leaf Tornado goes through, and I just want to get this last shield here. But um, they let go of their uh, Frenzy Plant, which knocks us out. And in this case, this gives us a lot of energy to farm with Sableye. And this is super risky. Uh, super, super risky. You'll see here in a second. Uh, we have one HP. Uh, we go with the foul play. No uh, moves, fast moves from Jelly goes through. And then we have won the CMP tie. And then we have another foul play. We won that match by a sliver of health. Crazy, 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 crazy. Um, <laughs> loved, loved that match. Wasn't expecting how it would turn out to be that way. Just probably talking to some of my uh, viewers here. And then uh, we're moving on to the next battle. So, yeah. Um, like I said, there's a certain teams uh, that's very tricky. Like I said, usually flyer leads is almost merely impossible because they have a counter to the flyer. And there's just not much that we can possibly do there. So another Registeel lead. And then we switch into our Sableye here. So we um, don't like the mirror matches with Reggie Reggie. And I don't want to do um, Reggie against Sableye. So the idea that I was trying to do is sneak in an extra uh, foul play. And uh, I found out that they win CMP tie. So what I should have done here, which I didn't do, is probably try to catch the throw with another Pokemon. But I overtapped by accident, and then they were managed to let go of the move. So at this point here, I think we bring back Roserade, and we just try to um, farm just a little bit extra. And then we throw the Weather Ball, and then we just see what's going to happen next here. So they bring in Amanda Buzz, and at this point, um, it's just going to be—it's just probably hard for us to win this match, honestly. Because Weather Balls are just going to do a little bit of chip damage with uh, Mandibuzz and Leaf uh, Storm. Does some good good amount of damage, but you probably need three considering how tanky Mandibuzz is. So having it in the back, a flyer in the lead, it just makes it very tough for this team. As you can see, this, the foul play is just going to beat us to the, to the Flash Cannon. If we probably were able to get through the Flash Cannon, we might have had a chance. Might have. It would have been really iffy because um, it would have maybe done about 50% damage, maybe a little bit less. But again, you know, Aerial Ace comes through and knocks us out. So GG's there for that match. So 3-2 for that match. And we have one more match that we're going to showcase and then we will be done with this video. And so like I said, it's been really fun to utilize this team. I'm not sure if this team is um, good beyond expert. Like I said, just seeing uh, what's his name, Dustin use it to get expert is uh, really, really uh, just exciting news to see. And knowing that he got was able to get to expert with this team, I know I would have been able to finesse it around and do it as well too. So here we go with this match, a Polito lead with a Charmer. So this is a Zionix team having Mandibuzz in the back. So 
not knowing um, that this was his team prior to yesterday because I just seen his video today. Um, we uh, managed to um, get some extra energy and then we throw this focus blast against the Politoed. And I think in this point, what do I do here? Um, I let go of the Weather Ball, which is surprising, and then we bring in our Sableye. So in this point, they're going to just throw another Weather Ball. We can take on that, and then we have the Mandibuzz come in, and this is going to be the um, the hardest battle that we can get to to winning this tanky Pokemon. So we shield the first one up. I'm trying to build up extra energy and seeing if they're going to match shields here, which they do, thank God. I think what would have been smarter for them is to not actually shield there, but... Here we go, we're just gonna charge up again and we're gonna let go of this work return and this is gonna chip away quite a bit, which is perfect. And then we caught the foul play. This is probably the pivoting part here of this match because if that was a um, aerial ace, it probably almost knocked us out and then Mandibuzz would have had energy to knock us out. So you can see there the weather ball did chip quite a bit and then the Politoed comes back, comes back in and then the weather ball knocks us out. So at this point here, they have a shield, and the best thing I could have think of doing is um, just trying to farm down as much as I can. And just to be sure if I'm okay, I'm just going to utilize their last shield here. And they're going to let go of the weather ball. And then we're going to do the crazy. We're going to lock on down, and we win that match. <laughs> GG's there. So again, crazy, crazy match. Did not know that was Zionix team that he um, shared today. And I was very, very happy and reluctant that we caught the foul play on Roserade and chipped away and lock on down with Registeel. So that was a crazy, crazy match. One of the few crazy matches that I had with this team. So moving on to the next, um, Mew as the lead. So typically what I would do here, I would just keep farming energy. Um, once, to, once I get to a Leaf Storm, I'll let it go just to get their first shields. And then I'm going to shield here just to see what their move is. So they go with the Wild Charge and then they switch into Wigglytuff. So what we do here is go with our Reggie Steel. And then we're going to um, Flash Cannon here. Again, I just undercharged just a hair. Should have probably done a little bit more just so I can have um, that much energy. And then we go with the Flash Cannon here and let's see what they do. They let it go. And this looks like it's going to be a move that we just don't want to see. And that is going to be a Focus Blast, which is completely fine. So this gives us some energy for Sableye to come in and then they conceal the match afterwards. So we don't know what they have. Could have been weak to fire. They could have been weak to, um, what is it called? Uh, dark. So interesting match there without a doubt. Focus Blast, Wild Charge. I was thinking about that moveset for Mew myself, but didn't pull the trigger on that one. So Defense Form Deoxys. Here we go. They actually um, throw the first move. This is a Rock Slide, which I actually do shield because I just want to maintain health on um, Roserade. And then we um, chip away first with the Weather Ball just to see if they want to utilize a shield. And then we go with another one here and they let it go. So then we jump into our Sableye and then they have a Frost Last. So what we're going to do here is just chip away and throw off this Foul Play. We're definitely going to get a shield here. And then we're going to charge and see what happens. I think I shield just to um, see if they match. And they do. Uh... Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to let this go. And then they uh, do they do match. And this is going to let go of their energy, which is going to be good for us. They actually went with the Shadow Ball. And then we go in with our Rose Array. So we just farm up just a little bit extra, not too much. And then we just let it go. I didn't want to um, bank on losing uh, Avalanche to a Rose Raid. And then I switched into Registeel just to catch the Focus Blast for a Focus um, Boost which was perfect, and then they have an Escavalier uh, in the back. So this is not going to knock us out. This is a drill run, and we go with the Focus Blast here. This is almost going to knock, us, uh, knock it out, and I think, oh, this was the match I lost. So I got just a little greedy. I should have just went ahead and just went Weather Ball because I was thinking that um, Defense Form Deoxys had extra energy, and uh, we just lost that match there. I think we could have won it. We could have. Because they thrown, um, what was it? They threw um, a rock side and a, and a focus, uh, a psycho boost. So they were probably depleted of energy. So that was a little mistake on my end. We could have won that match, but it happens. So moving on to the next match. Like I said before, Medicham, we want to see what movesets that they have first. 
um this looks like it was maybe a power up punch yep so we don't shield and then we're going to just fake it first with a uh, weather ball to see if they actually shield and they don't and then what we're going to do is switch into our sableye just to see what they have in their pokemon um trying to save up on that shield with a rose ray because sometimes that um, really really helps to our benefit in the close so here we go we're going to shield here we want to survive here we want to see if we can either get a shield from this bastiodon or um, knock it out and see what they're going to do if they bring in the metachamp so they do shield which is good so we're going to go back to back with foul play and we're just going to let's see Farm down, farm down, and then we jump into a Reggie Steel. So I wonder, I don't remember why I made that play. Maybe I want to see if I can bring back the Medi. Yep. And um, I think I just wanted to bait it out. That's what I wanted to do. So I'm banking that Rose Raiden is going to be um, a good closer at this matchup here. So they go Power Up Punch again. And I want to see if I can force them with this last shield, which I think they would, knowing that they can knock us out. Yep. And then what we do here is go with Rose Raid and just uh, Weather Ball because we can win CMP Tie just in case. And then we see a Defense Form Deoxys. So I go with a Leaf Storm here so we'll see exactly how much damage it does. I think this one was a better XL, not, I don't think it's an XL, just a better IV uh, Defense Form Deoxys. And then uh, we just come back in and then we both die at the very end and we win that match. And GG's there, so... A little bit of maneuvering, uh, a little bit different kind of gameplay, but we fished out the Pokemon that we do need just so we can make that alignment and then we can move on to, uh, you know, closing out winning that match. It's a little bit of a risk. It's a little bit of a gamble. If they all have the right Pokemon that we expect, then um, we can lose that match. So not too bad. All right. I think this may be the last match or second to last match. So again, um, we go over Leaf Storm. I'm just going to go here and see if they shield, and they do. And then I jump with a Defense Storm, or jump into our Sableye. Their Wigglytuff comes in. Usually, 9 times out of 10, they don't shield. And then we um, let it go. And then we bring in our Registeel here. And let's see what happens. This is uh, most likely a, a play rough. Yep. And then um, I think I just try Undercharging. At this point but i don't think it does anything at least we have some energy stored and um, let's see what's going to be their next pokemon they're gonna probably being bring back defense form deoxys no they actually bring oh this is the other charmer <laughs> so here we go we're going to use flash cannon we're just going to knock it out and then we switch back into roserade i believe we just double shield here because it's going to be back to back focus boosts psycho boost i keep <laughs> focus so we're gonna chip away with weather ball we're gonna keep pressuring for that shield and then we go with another shield here and we go to a leaf storm we were just short so i'm like oh boy they're double debuffed um that's psycho boost um doesn't knock us out and then we go with our leaf storm here knock out the defense storm of the oxus and then we switch back into reggie and we win that match so crazy crazy battles um <laughs> man that was just so much fun but yeah this team man it's cool once you start figuring out how to play it out you start figuring out that rose raid is really like mvp with this team as long as it has energy and you can sneak in those leaf storms when you can it can really turn up matches really really well like i said there's certain pokemon um that can cause certain um trouble with this team but not all teams are perfect but then again you know it's pokemon go battle it's a remix it's really really crazy so Thanks again for Scrublord Dustin uh, for streaming this team on his uh, Twitch. I think it was on Monday. Congratulations um, when he reached expert. And without a doubt, guys, I'll see you into the next video. Peace.